So I personally love a good ice cold Coke or Dr. Pepper. I don't drink them much because soda's not good for you, but I still do get my fix from my soda fragrances. So if you're interested in hearing all about the fragrances in my collection that give me soda or soda pop, for those of you up north, <laughs> vibes, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So before you click out of this video, hear me out. These soda fragrances are good, okay? <laughs> I know soda may not be the first thing you think about when you think about a fragrance that you will love. But in this case, all of these fragrances are gorgeous fragrances that have either some sort of soda notes or they have characteristics that make me think of a soda note, even though that note may not technically be listed in the notes. So I don't have that many fragrances from this category, but I actually love all of these. So I really wanted to share them with you. So without further ado, let's get into the fragrances. So the first fragrance that I have is actually no longer in my possession. This is the one that I purchased first that made me open my eyes to soda type scents. So the fragrance I'm talking about is from Aqua de Parma and it is Mandorlo di Sicilia. So the reason I no longer have this in my collection is because I used it up earlier this year and I have not repurchased it. Will I repurchase it again? Probably, but I have so many fragrances that, you know, <laughs> It would be really hard for me to repurchase a fragrance shortly after using it up, but I did really love it. So this fragrance is more of an almond soda type scent. So, so to me, this reminds me of Dr. Pepper or root beer, but it's a very soft and still kind of fresh and bright scent. So for me, this fragrance was perfect during hot weather, but honestly, I wore it year round and it just was never a time where I felt like it was ever too much or ever too strong. It's just one of those fragrances that was an easy reach for me, yet it was still different. So a lot of times with my easy reach fragrances, I find that they are the same fragrances that are like everybody's easy reach. <laughs> Mandorlo de Cecilia was not the case. I never came across anybody else who wore it. I loved how light and kind of translucent and sparkling it felt on my skin. However, it's still projected. I still got compliments on it. And it's just like a beautiful, almond fresh very natural soda type smelling scent so <laughs> that is mandorlo di cecilia so this next fragrance is from joe malone and this is vanilla and anise now this fragrance is probably the reason i have not repurchased mandorlo di cecilia because i do find they are very similar if you look at the notes they are quite different but when i smell them they smell quite similar so this one does have that anise note to it that gives it a little bit of a licorice type vibe and but it also smells like there's some sort of vanilla almond to this mixture even though i'm pretty sure almond is not a note in this fragrance it gives off the same type of vibe as mandorlo di cecilia this one is very fresh it's even just slightly green but it's still like a very fizzy texture to it and i love it this is perfect for summer this wouldn't hold up in the cold but for me, y'all know I live in a hot climate, so I can probably get away with wearing this at least three out of the four seasons. And it's just an easy reach for me. It's nothing that's going to offend anybody. It's something I can definitely wear to work. And in typical Jo Malone fashion, this fragrance does not have beast mode projection or longevity, but I don't care. It's very pretty. And for this type of fragrance, I really would not expect it. So if you're looking to try a soda fragrance, and you're looking for something lightweight and you just want to kind of dip your toe in it, I would definitely suggest either this one or Mandorlo di Cecilia. These are the lightest fragrances that I have on this list. So the next fragrance I have is an absolute classic and this is from Dior, it's Hypnotic Poison. So this fragrance is probably the most well-known soda type scent. To me, this gives off definite root beer vibes. So it is sweet, it's sultry. There's some vanilla in this along with cherry. And it does not give off medicinal vibes to me. When I mentioned this fragrance in another video, somebody said that the licorice was too much for them in this fragrance. And since she said that, I can definitely pick up on 
something that smells close to licorice in this but to me it's not that strong but if you are sensitive to licorice maybe test this one out but honestly this is one that i feel like most people will love most people have already smelled it and this is root beer vibes to me i love it this one also sits relatively close to the skin i have heard that the older versions of this fragrance were more projecting i've never smelled the older versions but this one to me is perfect for like a cozy date night in colder days and or nights but i typically wear this around the house to be honest <laughs> or some things like movie dates or something like that where i'm not really trying to do too much but i still want to smell delicious and scrumptious so that is dior hypnotic poison the next fragrance is actually my favorite out of this list. Yes, I'm playing favorites. <laughs> but this is from Roger Parfums and this is Creation E Parfum Cologne. Now this is the one that I feel like I've talked about the most, but it's honestly because it's a favorite of mine. It's my favorite one out of all of these. This is my sexy rum and coke scent. So this one has that soda vibe, but it's mixed with uh, a boozy note as well. The way that this one sits on the skin it, I feel like it projects really well, but it's not a heavy scent. So I feel like if this was much heavier, I probably wouldn't be able to wear it as easily. But because of how like translucent it is, <laughs> it is so easy to wear for me. Now, I don't wear it all the time because I feel like this is perfect for like day dates, brunch. And I love it so much that I don't want to like ruin memories of it by wearing it to work all the time or something like that. <laughs> but it honestly could be it's so gorgeous so it's a little sweet it's definitely fizzy and definitely boozy perfect for women or men i think this is an absolute stunner and like i said it's my favorite off this list and honestly i know this is an expensive fragrance for most of you guys watching but i feel like it's totally worth the money i paid full price for this and i do not regret at all and another thing to mention even though this is kind of a lighter weight scent it lasts for a good amount of time. I mean, I would say at least about seven hours or so, if not more. And to me, it projects pretty much the entire time, even though it's not a heavy smelling scent. So this is Roja Parfums Creation E Parfum Cologne. The next fragrance that I have is another popular one, but this is from BDK. It is Rouge Smoking. So this one smells like a fizzy cherry soda type scent. It is sweet, it has that cherry to it, it has a little bit of spiciness to it, a little bit of smokiness to it. And to me, it, although this smells like a soda type scent, it doesn't scream a particular soda. Hopefully that makes sense. Whereas like when I smell Creation E, I immediately think of actual Coke with actual liquor in it. When I smell this one, it's more of just the fizzy nature um, but it definitely smells like some sort of soda to me. <laughs> so I love this fragrance. When I first got it, I was not impressed with the longevity of projection. I actually ended up getting rid of it. But this is one that I repurchased and this time it's working out so much better. So I don't know if I got a bad batch the first time, but this one to me smells more concentrated, smells better on my skin. I've worn it in the hot weather. Haven't really worn it too much in the cold because y'all know I don't have that many cold days, but I think this is perfect for most people for cold weather. And it just has this fizzy texture to it. That is amazing. And although this is a cherry scent, it doesn't smell like every other cherry fragrance out there. I know a lot of you all don't love cherry. And if you don't like cherry, I mean, you're not gonna like this. But as someone who likes cherry, I like to have different types of cherry because I don't want to just have them all smell the same. They don't all need to be dupes of lost cherry. You know, I'm not looking for dupes. So this is a cherry to me that holds its own and it's, it's really beautiful. So that is BDK Rouge Smoking. And then speaking of cherry, the last fragrance I have to share with you guys today is from Mancera and this is Wild Cherry. Now this one to me does not necessarily smell like soda, but the fizzy nature to it makes me immediately think of soda. So this is very cherry, but it's something very like sparkling about this. So I don't necessarily smell soda in this, but the texture of the scent. It's so weird when you're talking about fragrances and you're talking about textures, but I don't really know how else to explain it. You guys who love fragrance, I'm sure you get what I mean, but when I smell this, I just feel like a fizzy <laughs> texture in my mouth. <laughs> Sounds weird, but it's so true. I love this scent. This one is one of the least complex scents on this list, but it's still very beautiful. The cherry is very nice. There's some vanilla in there. 
it's a little sweet but not so much so it's not syrupy at all and it's just very fizzy in nature and of course this one wears a long time it projects a lot but it is actually not overpowering i remember one time i wore this to work and as soon as like each person came in the door at my job they all complimented me on it and one and one of those compliments was after i had been wearing the fragrance for probably about like eight hours at that point because i worked 10 hour shifts so i've been wearing the fragrance probably about eight hours and we had a contractor come in and as soon as she walked in she smelled me and she had to be at least like 10 feet away at least and she was like oh my gosh you smell so good and i know it was me because where I was sitting was I was the only person over there. So when she walked over there, I was the only person. I'm the only thing she could have smelled. So yeah, just goes to show this is very projecting and I didn't I do not overspray this one. Um, I feel like most Manceras don't require an overspray. And I think I'm actually going to make this my scent of the day today. So let's go ahead and spray this on. So yes, that is Mancera Wild Cherry. So those were the soda fragrances that I wanted to share with you today. I love all of them. I love the sparkling, fizzy texture. I really love the way they wear on my skin, especially when there's a bit of a breeze outside. Let me know in the comments below if you own any fragrances that have either a soda note or they remind you of soda, or if you're looking to try any of these. I know soda sounds weird for a fragrance note, but honestly, I love all of these and I think most of them are very likable. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed and follow me over on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.